You know, every year a group of RCTC students goes on a service learning trip to Cambodia. They learn about the culture, help out poor villages by building wells and bringing in chalkboards to schools. But for one family on that trip, it did turn out to be quite a life-changing experience. ABC 6 News reporter Brianna Long explains. My dad died in 2002 when I was in my first grade and um, my mom just passed away in 2009. For Chung Lip, better known as Chuil, growing up in Cambodia was far from easy. The most important things that we are desperate to think about is food. If we have food today, we would worry about what we will have for tomorrow. After his mother passed away, Chuil wanted that to change. His first goal was getting an education. Chuil got involved with the Cambodia Family Organization, or CFO. It's a school that works with RCTC students on their service learning trip. There, he learned English and started working with the students who would come to his country, showing them around and translating for them. And that's when he met the Bruin family. They developed a special connection with Chuil that continued even after after they came back home to southeast Minnesota. And we started to Skype with, with Chul mm -hmm. and got to know him about once a week we would Skype. Chul was not on Skype for about a week or two and when he came back he said he'd been sick. Chuil had no parents and was sick with the illness that killed his mother. The Bruins knew they had to do something, but because of his age, adoption was out of the question. Well, we thought, well, how else could we get him here? And, and being a student came up. They got too ill to come to America on a student visa. He graduated then from Kenyon Wanamingo High School and now goes to RCTC. And besides experiencing snow for the first time, having more access to food, and getting an education, there's something else even more valuable that Chuil got by coming to America. I never have a sense of um, family now. I have a mom, and she loved me just like one of her own kids. In Rochester, Brianna Long, ABC6 News. Chuil has been in America for two years now. He is planning his first trip back to Cambodia to help give back to CFO and help kids who are still living in poverty there.